Hey everybody, Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thanks for joining us on today's video, man. This is, uh, this is a long conversation with the builder of this car. He built this car for himself. Comes with a folder like this of receipts. Whew. You know, uh, sometimes it's tough for them to get to, to let these go, uh, but they just can't drive them anymore. They can't use them. And this is exactly why this is the kind of car you should get. Let somebody do the effort. He did, built this not to flip or sell. He built this to take to car shows. And guys that take cars to car shows do not want their cars to be deficient when they show up at the car show. So you're going to get a car where the turn signals work and the backup lights and the and the exhaust sounds great and the air conditioning blows cold. You're going to get a car that's nice and complete, not cobbled together. The receipts back up all the restoration work. And I think once you see uh, all of that we have here, the video and the test drive, you're going to say, how do I get that in my garage? All right, so clearly in the video, the paint looks spectacular, but you know, pictures and things like that can make things look better than they actually are. That's why I spend a second, you know, I'm all over the country and people say, and people find me somewhere and they'll go, hey, Tony, look what you're doing. I do that for a reason, man, because when you can read these letters in the paint, so when you can read each letter in the paint, you can see it nice and crisp and clear. That is good paint, man. This is a wet sanded, uh, show waxed and detailed. The effort that went into this, uh, you can see from the receipts as well. There's a huge amount of new floor pans and new uh, uh, panels on the sides and things like that. This is a car that's really done well. And you can see from the effort uh, when we look at this right now. All right, so this is really what I call a modern muscle car. When you look at this, this is a 400 V8. They make good power, good power, especially here. Uh, and then you throw in air conditioning, you throw in power disc brakes, you throw in power steering. And a lot of times we forget to ask about these things because a lot of these cars back in the day didn't come with all that stuff, right? This has all of those things on here. The AC works and blows nice and cold. Uh, the power disc brakes are really nice because this car is pretty fast. You want to make sure you can stop as well. And then as we move around the car, you're going to see more detail like brand new hood insulation pad and painted all nicely and detailed in here. Even the wires are wrapped in the looms and what have you. The decals are where they're supposed to be. Just really nice stuff. New radiator, new condenser, on and on and on. You can see all the new components under there. And this is exactly why you should get a car like this when it's already done that you can enjoy this weekend. All right, so let's take a look at this part of the car here. So, so in the world of muscle cars and utility, these fit so well. It's like there weren't a lot of El Caminos built, right? They weren't as popular as other, which makes them more collectible today, which is why you see them going up in value quickly. However, the utility of this vehicle is the best, man. It's a muscle car first, right? Where you can take three great people in there, you and a couple of your good friends, right? And then on top of it, let's say you want to go uh, to the fireworks or the beach or whatever. You can throw a couple lawn chairs in there, watch the fireworks. You don't have to sit on the ground. Maybe you want to go to a party and you sit on the back of the tailgate here and you do what's called tailgating. That's where all this started, man. Tailgating parties and things like that. They make for a great time. This there is a showpiece, especially if you go to a tailgate party now with everybody with their brand new cars or whatever. You show up in this and this is a cool piece. All right, so come join me inside here. And the reason why I spent a little bit of time in here on these is because this is a little bit nicer interior than say other uh, vehicles that are out there. Like look at the door panels. The door panels all, are they're not the flat plain door panels you might see in a Camaro or something like that. They're molded. This has a full dash of gauges, right? Um, speedometer and uh, without idiot lights. You got fuel and temp and volts and what have you. Um, and this has an upgraded sound system, so it looks like it's kind of stock, but it's really a digital version of the stock system. You can tell this is an air conditioned car because it comes with the air conditioning vents and the dash, which is different than the others. And there's a lot of room in here, man. You know, I'm 6'1", and this is uh, tons of room. The spare tire goes back here. You can put some stuff back here, uh, and you can go away for the weekend. You can throw soft bags back there. There's actually a lot of room and functionality, but not to mention, it's got a great rumble and a great sound as you're rolling down the road. All right, so let's recap a lot of the bullets that we talked about for a second. Mirror finish, midnight blue paint, right? Gorgeous, gorgeous car. Air conditioning, power disc brakes, tilt wheel, upgraded sound system. Uh, goes on on the bed, has been coated with the Rhino liner, right, to protect it so you can put some chairs and things like that and enjoy it. This is just an awesome car. Comes with almost $60,000 in receipts, right? Uh, the owner built this for himself as a show car and now can no longer enjoy it. And that's why it's finally offered for sale. Anyway, call us 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this El Camino. If you would, please like the video here. It would help out a lot. Share it with your friends. And if you want, subscribe to the channel. Every time we get a new one, it'll come right to you.